they are gone all of them gone hey everybody this is Jen welcome to my channel where have the babies gone well you have to stay to find out right here on Garden Jen's Journey Now, if you remember in the last video that I just did, um, our babies were out growing their various homes and we had to scramble to uh, get things done to get them into bigger homes. And so that's what we did. So I'm going to take you around the homestead and show the improvements that have been made since the last video that we did. So this of course is the main brooder box uh, that we use when we first bring chicks home from the store or this year uh, hatching our own. This is our main brooder box and we just had roughly 20 chicks in this brooder box for about uh, three weeks now and they were starting to outgrow it and so we had to get them ready to go into this segregation coop which is where our ducklings were so in order to move the chicks we had to move the ducklings and in order to move the ducklings my husband had to build a completely brand new coop so let's go out to the chicken yard and see what's gone on out there so there's our ducks in the chicken yard they are no longer in the segregation pen last night my husband built them this this is the brand new duck coop where the duck ducks live so um yeah the ducks aren't quite sure what to think um, being out in the main pen here so it's going to take some getting used to um, we actually I actually had to kick them out of the coop this morning because they are pinned in the coop and the chickens became the squatters and as you can see they're just over there thinking that that's their home and they can do whatever they want with it um, my chickens are naughty 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 when it comes to that everything belongs to the chickens at least in chicken world um, so I actually had to kick the ducks out and shut the door so that chickens can't get in there and make more of a mess. So the ducks have to learn how to get along out here with the chickens. So far there's not been any fighting or anything. Um, so we'll see how it goes. From what I can tell with our ducklings so far, I have one female. And then the other two are drakes, which is not good for a duck flock, especially one this small. So we are looking into purchasing another flock of ducks uh, to uh, put with this one. So our drake to hen ratio is appropriate. And then once I get those ducks, I'll probably sell off a couple of the, the drakes because I don't need so many drakes. But I definitely need to get more hens uh, to make sure that the ratio is appropriate. Too many drakes and you're going to have problems with not only mating but aggression. And especially since they have roosters already uh, for chickens. Uh, too much testosterone in this area is not going to be healthy for anybody. So the next step is definitely to get more hens and equal out our male to female ratio. But other than that little hiccup, um, I think we're gonna do all right. Let's go see where the babies are that were in the brooder box. <laughs> all right. Hey, Rhonda. 
Red, Red. So this is the next step up from the brooder box. When it comes to brooding our own chickens, this is what we call the segregation coop. Um, it's where the little ones come to grow up a little bit bigger and then eventually they're let out into this yard that we've taken countless times of redoing so they can't get out. Um, you'll find when you're raising chickens or any young animals that uh, you think that you've got all the little tiny holes covered that they're not going to be able to get out and then when you go to round them up and they're freaking out that they find ways to get out of the pen. So um, yeah, every year it seems like no matter how hard we try to make sure that we have all the holes covered that babies can't get out, we still get babies that come out. So but yeah, this is the segregation um, pen. This is the coop. It used to be about half the size. You can see the difference in color of the wood. And then uh, last year my dad and my husband actually doubled it. So there's a nice roosting spot in here for them um, as they grow up. This I think comfortably holds about 15 full grown chickens if we actually let them grow up in this coop. Um, but uh, again, this is for segregation. And then once they grow up and we can get them uh, integrated with the main flock, they go into the main coop. But I'll show you how the babies are doing that are in here. So this is the segregation coop. You see they're all back there. They got plenty of room. Like I said we've got about 20 some chicks. And up there, up above them is where they can roost if they so desire. We got the heat lamp in here because it still gets kind of cold overnight just so they have a place to to stay warm and then right next to it you can't tell because you know of the heat lamp we also have a regular light bulb so in during the day they have enough light in here to know that it's daytime they're going to be in here for about another two weeks before i actually open the door and let them out uh, this guy here these ones are actually big enough where they could go outside, but um, I'd rather them all be about the same size. And also when we finally bring our Aracanas over here, after they grow up, I want them all to be about the same size before we let them out. That way we don't have chicks that are getting caught in the fencing. But as you can see, they're all happy and healthy and curious little guys. Gals, we're not sure yet. <laughs> but yeah, so they're all doing good. And then, like I said, in a couple weeks, we'll actually let the door out and let them outside. So that's where our chicks have gone. They've all got upgraded to new housing. And then in a week, um, probably a little less by the time I get this video posted, we'll have brand new chicks that'll be hatching out and they'll be going into the brooding box on the porch and the cycle will start all over again as far as getting them big enough to come out to the segregation pen where they can then be outside and uh, stretch their wings and get used to the adult birds before we let them out and integrate the flock. I hope you found this video um, interesting. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I thank you for watching us on our journey, especially our chicken and duck journey. It's so interesting to watch animals grow up from when they're little tiny chicks and ducklings to the older sized birds. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll keep updated with everything we do here on the homestead, whether it's chicks or gardening or whatnot. And I'd love to have you. And as always, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.